Come go with us to Ben Wheeler, Texas, about an hour east of Dallas. It a, has a population of around 400 people. It's an unincorporated community in Van Zant County, and it's become one of our favorite little escape places. This is uh, a bistro called uh, The Forge, and they have a great big backyard area that's kind of like a park almost, and uh, a lot of times they have live music out there, and uh, they have festivals in town. It's a real artsy little town, Ben Wheeler, has a special story behind it. Um, and again, this is that area, the kind of park-like uh, backyard area back behind a restaurant or a bistro there called The Forge. You can see a pavilion across the little bridge there, and they have a stage in there where they have live music sometimes. They also have a stage out under the trees here that you'll see in a minute. There's some seating out by a little creek there. That's a, a hog head that they have in the parade at their Wild Hog Festival. Uh, ben Wheeler's become the wild hog capital of, of Texas, and, and uh, they have a wild hog festival every year. Uh, they also have a June bug festival. That, uh, you could see a stage there where they have live music sometimes and other performances, and uh, it's a kind of a dry creek bed there that has some history behind it. Um, and we'll go up into the pavilion here, and you can see inside there and you'll see the stage there in just a moment where they uh, have performance, have live music and that, that sort of thing. Up on the wall here in a minute, you're going to see a painting of, of Brooks Grimmel. And uh, this whole town, the town used to be a deserted ghost town. And uh, Brooks Grimmel uh, had made a lot of money in the oil industry and decided to start buying buildings in that town, which was just a ghost town, uh, and started restoring the buildings and bringing the town back to life. He attracted, again, this is the Forge uh, Bistro there. We were out behind it before. Uh, but again, uh, back to Brooks Grimmel, um, he had the vision to kind of get this town booming again and uh, made special efforts to attract different artists and uh, uh, brought them to these small buildings and, and uh, gave them $1 a month rent if they would come there. Now we're looking at Moore's store. It's a restaurant and bar kind of an area. This is not just scanning around the town. You see a church back there in the, the background kind of behind Moore's store and the water tower behind Moore's store. This is back on the same side of the street as the forge. You can see the forge in the distance there. And um, now we're inside Moore's store. They have a stage and a wild hog hanging above it. And uh, this is just scanning around inside Moore's store. This is a patio out behind uh, Moore's store. And uh, you can see they have a lot of outdoor seating there too. You'll notice everything is pretty deserted. We were visiting this time during the pandemic, and so there wasn't much going on. It was pretty empty, pretty deserted, but we still enjoyed walking around and photographing, videotaping. Um, but it was a very safe place to be because it was deserted. Like I say, there weren't hardly any people there. I hope it survives. We love this place and um, want to see it survive. I hope this pandemic doesn't kill the little businesses there where they, you know, have to move to the city and can't survive. They have a little winery there now. And uh, now we're uh, down at Lake Athens, which is 28 miles south of Ben Wheeler. This is another place we've been several times. Or actually, this is only our second time at this spot on Lake Athens. But we found a nice spot under a shade tree there brought our own lawn chairs and just sat out there and enjoyed the lake for about an hour before driving back to the Dallas area. But uh, it's a beautiful lake and uh, a lot of nice homes around there. Just a real 
peaceful setting that we we really enjoyed that day again uh, we're very very safe when we travel if you want to watch my video that's titled travel am i crazy it, it will explain it's a video i dedicated especially to these little day trips to explain that we only do things in a very very safe way i'm a health care provider i know uh, i'm serious about the pandemic and um and we don't do anything unsafe when we take these little day trips. But again, it was a beautiful day, and um, we really enjoyed being out at the lake there.